Hey, it's I Nate Ellis. Now, have you ever had a short sale that you've been working on only to find out months later that you couldn't get it closed? I'm gonna give you three questions today that are gonna give your short sales a better shot at getting closed. Number three, does the seller have a legitimate hardship? Now, I don't care what the hardship is. Um, that really doesn't matter to me. What I'm making sure is that the seller isn't trying to do something like a strategic default. Now, can you get a strategic default done? Yes, you can uh, on occasion. But I want to make sure that my buyer has the best chance of being able to get this deal done. And someone doing a strategic default, that's a wild card. I, I don't want to take a chance on it. Number two, the second question. Has the bank set any timelines yet? Now, I'm not just looking for if a notice of default has been filed or the notice of trustee sale. What I'm really checking for is, is has a negotiator been assigned and have they set some timelines on when they're going to be able to review this file and get us an approval on the deal? There also may be some other dates uh, that the bank has set as a drop dead date uh, that they've got to close this deal by or otherwise we're done. So that's really what I'm searching for there. And the number one question, the number one question, what? Hey, I'm sorry, we're out of time. Look, if you want the number one question, uh, you're gonna need to come to the short sale and foreclosure resource course uh, from the National Association of Realtors. To find out when the next class is, click the link below. That's right, click the link below. It'll take you to the short sale and foreclosure resource course coming up in the area. Uh, it's I, Nate Ellis. Hey, I look forward to seeing you soon.